are doctors in 2018 changing their thoughts on using opioids first? Alternative pain medicines, uh, recent studies showed that if you take three ibuprofens and three Tylenol at the same time and take them three times a day, you create about the same pain relieving as oxycodone, five milligrams three times a day. In batches this big and the pain uh, equivalent treating of that medicine, those are equivalent. So, so there are just some simple kinds of things that, that people can do. And, and there are other medications that need to be prescribed. For example, some of the classes of antidepressants do have a good impact on chronic pain. Uh, it requires a fair amount of skill and knowledge to prescribe them properly, but it can be done. Uh, and that's one reason psychiatrists are involved. And then there are um, uh, uh, other medications that uh, uh, stabilize the brain inhibitory and excitatory system so that you're not getting so much nerve uh, conduction from the pain areas, and those can help a little bit too. But none of them are perfect for everyone, and again, none of them completely take the pain away. They may uh, divert people's attention from the pain or reduce the severity of the pain. I mean, so, some of the antidepressants, for example, the older antidepressants that, we, that Andy and I started out with back in the 60s and 70s, those are actually more effective in certain kinds of neurogenic pain than opiates are. 